Not like a broken record because I think they've hit most of them, but mm -hmm. it does allow us to be dynamically scalable. It does allow us to get to uh, the most efficient and effective infrastructure that we have. We have thousands of servers out there, in, in some under people's desks, some in server farms, and so to consolidate them, more centrally manage them, delivers a, a cost per unit of uh, computing efficiency uh, far greater than what we have today. Uh, ships do move around, and, and our ability to get them, as, as Mike said, ready access to authoritative data from the cloud is really important to us so that we can make decisions in, in real time or near real time. Uh, that being said, you know, these things start to come together and start to sound repetitive about the, the footprint coming down. You do get to – green is achieved, if you will. So these means to that efficient end. Uh, IT exploded over the last 20 years mm -hmm. uh, because it could. Right. And now we've realized, well, you now have to afford that thing that you built. Right. And so now we're trying to get our arms around it and scrunch it down. So the ability of us to, to see the benefits to get to that a most effective computing environment, because as Mike said, he's about ships and helicopters. He's about uh, tanks and helicopters. Sure. I'm about ships and planes. Sure. That's what we do. This has to be the most efficient thing possible so that we can have more of them to do the, the nation's security. Yeah,